Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. I'm recording now. I am now recording. Did you guys hear that yesterday? Um, yesterday, it became um, the the term "buy Bitcoin" became a more popular internet search term than "buy gold." I saw that. Considering how yeah, low. That, that, that. Does anyone wish me to stop recording? Okay, just founded the account again, so now we have to wait for him to call again. Does anyone wish me to stop recording? Okay, I'm going to take that as a maybe. I'm going to take that as a maybe. I have not yet heard anyone... Re- Yes, I'm here. I'm still recording, if that's okay. Is this Dave Ridley? Yeah, Ridley. Dave Ridley? Hey, man, how's it going? Hi. How you been? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Yeah, isn't it great? (laughs) The other thing, Dave, I see you connected via 
get the 520 number? Can I give you the conference call number where you can call, which is a 917 number? 917 number. I'll write it down. Be because it might disconnect on you, actually. That may be why earlier you, you, you called the wrong number for you. So it's 917-410-6787. So, Morpheus, do you know the price of Bitcoin today? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking it up on the internet right now. <laughs> no, I don't. What is it? 10,000? 7406. Nice! We're going to hit 10,000 by the end of the year, probably. Could be very close. I actually figured it out one day. Uh, I took the days I'd been in uh, when, when I got... You know, when I got arrested, it was 1240 bucks, And I forget what number it was when I did the calculations, and I backed it out by the number of days I'd been here, and it was like $37 a day. And based on that, we could actually hit $10,000 uh, by the end of the, end of the, end of the, uh, the year. That was, a few, that was about a week or two ago, so I don't know if the calculations are still... Um, you know, accurate, which uh, they're probably not, but I think, you know, it's, it's very possible that it's, it is possible that it could happen. We could have $10,000 Bitcoins. Well, the crypto market cap is now over $206 billion. Screw <laughs> 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 it, man. They are going to, they're going to run out of money. They're going to run out of money. They're going to, they, 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 they're, they're screwed. They're screwed. They're screwed. They're screwed. They're screwed. They, they can't stop it. They can, they can arrest everybody they want to. And guess what? We're going to win. Because they're going to run out of money. Bank of America's market cap is $279 billion. Wow. <laughs> JP Morgan's is uh, $338 billion. I wonder what the market What's How many countries that's a uh, bigger market cap then? I bet you it's a lot. You mean their GDP? Yeah. I don't know. You can figure that out later. But anyway, the rank is in the mid thirties, thirty, you know, uh, money supply, you know, capitalization. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of a danger in uh, in you know doing uh, like my 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 attorney, which this girl Maria is out of this fucking world. I mean, she is unbelievably awesome. I mean, the 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 the, the I don't know if you guys have much. You guys have read of this this paperwork, and I just got a new batch of it today, but just for example, there's, uh, on the first two, uh, first two uh, motions she filed, there's 27, I think there's 27 or 28 different just uh, uh, court cases to dismiss the charges of the unlicensed money transmitting, and uh, Peter Steinmetz's attorney only only did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and she did twenty seven on two separate filings, and that doesn't even include. She actually even raised the, the concept, you know, the Article One, uh, Section Eight, Clause Five about you know how the government has the power to regulate money. Well, can't be Bitcoin can't be money because they can't regulate it. So, but one of the things she said is, you know, you got to be careful about what you say. You know, I mean, just, you don't want to draw a lot of attention to the case. I mean, I think some attention is is it would, is good, but you know, it's just like how much do you, you know, you don't want to make it go thermonuclear because she said when the government, you know, when it becomes a celebrity case, then the, the, you know, this is something you should definitely put in your, you know, put down is that you know if you have a celebrity case, they they dig in their heels and they go after you even harder. I mean, that's something that's worthwhile to, to, to definitely mention that, you know, this, this is how these people operate, is, is when you oppose them or you try to bring attention to their, their secret, whatever they're doing, that they, they want to keep in the dark. When you bring it to the sun, then they, they go after you harder. So, you know, it is, um, anyway. Well, uh, Morpheus, I'm sun and I'm recording. Is that still okay? You know, judicious about it. You know, I mean, all I'm saying is, is that I don't know. It, it's, it's. I don't know 
what the, you know what what's the correct course of action. Like I said, I, I do like I think that people need to be aware of what's going on. I do. I am I am like almost 100 percent convinced. I can't be 100 percent, but I'm 100 percent convinced I'm going to be on some on, on a lot of these charges. And the last batch of uh, argument or motions that Maria filed were for uh, what's it called? Outrageous government conduct on their part for going after and, and going after me in the first place. And that's oh, so like you, a you have those document. document now. Yeah, I mean it's oh, out. So wait, you know, it's out. Monday we did, you didn't have them. Now you have them. Okay, yeah, I just good. got it. I just got it today. I just kind of I read oh. through it a little bit before dinner time. I mean, it's not as it's not as strong as the you know as the, the ones the ones for the the. Unlicensed money transmitter. Those are never. They're never going to make those stick. I mean, she's got in her motions. It doesn't say should. It says must. They must be dismissed. There's like you know, like on one of them, it says there's six separate fatal, fatally, uh, fatal flaws in their argument. Six of them. I mean, any one of them is fatal, and they got six. So for them to. I mean, the unlicensed money transmitting, that's definitely going to get beat. I mean, uh, without a doubt. Uh, the, 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 the one that's actually the worst one is the, is the, is the money laundering, which I think that there's enough arguments there to be able to, to be able to defeat that anyway, even if we go to, even if we go to trial. I mean, if you look at Espinoza and then even, uh, P. Tex, he beat, uh, he was able to beat the, 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 all of unlicensed, I mean, the money laundering. Well, the money laundering, he, 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 they charged him with money laundering. Wasn't they charged him with money laundering? Yeah, they did. I forget now. Okay, yeah, they charged him with money laundering, and so he was able to beat it based on the fact that Bitcoin's not money. And it can never be money because they don't control it. How can they, how can they, you know, it's, it's, the law was, what, what's happened is, is that the government is, the, the agencies are expanding the definitions of what they think money is to be able to go out and go after people like myself and all the other people that they've been going after, they're signaling them out because they want to, you know, make people afraid about doing what they have the right to do, which is to be able to conduct business. Uh, I, we know that. <laughs> well, well, yes, you're right on that one. But they want to make it so everything has to be under their control. So... You know, and then people don't have a way of getting out of their, 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 you know, being able to, you know, be able to fend for themselves by their wits. Instead, they have to be, you know, have a job and work for somebody else and be a slave. When, you know, what happens if you don't want to be a slave? Hey, Morpheus, I don't know if you heard, um, Segway 2X, um, got, uh, canceled today. They canceled it? So they, they backed out of it. But Drew, what Drew brought up, brought up a Drew drop, drop, uh, brought up a good point where um, six of the signers of the New York, the main six guys, or main, some of the main guys, basically all signed this document, and so that, for all intents and purposes, destroyed it, but he said, he, good point, the miners don't necessarily have to uh, follow them. There still could be a fork. So, they're gonna, so, so what does that mean? I mean, explain that to me a little bit more. Um, Drew, are you able to? I mean, I can try. Try no, better. I, I, I don't know, man. You know, it means. Uh, yeah. <laughs> means good. I mean, I, we don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, we don't. I think it's, I, I would say it's probably a pretty big long shot for it to fork at this point. So they're going to have a segwit, and then they're going to have a segwit, and then they're going to have a non segwit, and then they're going to have the. Yeah. They'll, have, they'll have two. They'll have two more more bitcoins, right? Yeah, there will be four total if this fork would have gone through. Or but they canceled it. They, they, they basically stopped the process? Is that they, what you're saying? Yeah, they, uh, they signed a document, or, or maybe not a document, but a... Um, an email. Whatever. Uh, yeah, an email. Was an email, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll send you the email, Mark. Okay, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so basically they said uh, they don't support it anymore. They fail in getting the support of the community 
Uh, we want to thank everybody who contributed into SegWit. Um, and basically, that's it. Mike Belch, Vince Karase, Jihan Fu, and uh, Eric Vorhe, among them. Well, Eric doesn't want it, but Vorhe, he does want it. Yeah, yeah, he wanted it. He signed the New York Agreement, so yeah, he was the one. Yeah, I thought that that was the, I thought that that was the best option was the was the Segwit two uh, X. I thought that was seemed like that was the best option of all of them was you know a compromise situation like that. But what are people paying for for transaction fees now? Yeah, I paid five dollars today. I paid five dollars today for a two hundred and fifty dollar transaction. Yeah, but it's a product of mathematics. I mean, as the fee, as the price of Bitcoin goes up, the price of the number of Satoshi you need to include goes up with it. The, the number of Satoshi doesn't go up. The price of the value of the Satoshi goes up. Hmm. So there is nothing you can do. The, the, the transaction price will continue to go up. Right, but what happens the value if you can't put transaction? enough transactions in the, in the block? You know, if you do it more than whatever, what is it? 1,800, 2,000 transactions in 10 minutes, then then the whole system will fall, you know, could implode on itself. I don't know. Well, they're working. The, the thing is, I heard several several things, and I, I don't know. I mean, I'm more, I've been concentrating on the legal matter more than the technical matters for the last two years. Yeah. So unfortunately, I'm still stuck yeah, at the... Yeah, it's, nice, it's just nice to know this stuff. Nice to know all this stuff, but I'm like living in a bubble, so... Um, but yeah, but I'm, I'm really, really super duper duper like, I'm like really totally impressed with Maria. She is on, I mean, this lady is actually an attorney. I mean, she doesn't, she's actually doing her job, <laughs> which is amazing to me. I well, mean, if I you look at the work, attorney. if you look at the work that, that, uh, Lee Stein did for Peter Steinmetz, so and you look at the work that, that Maria did for me, it's like uh, far and away, she's like so much, so much better. So much better. I mean, she's doing all the work for for at least five, basically. Yes. Yeah. Good. So when do we know when when the government has to respond to those documents? Because I I know that she, did she say anything? Yeah, I think they said she said they got fourteen days, but she's filing so many documents. I mean, I don't know how the how the hell they're gonna you know be able to respond to all these different points. I mean, she's got. Point after point after point after point, and and the guy uh, who I uh, who's the investigator, uh, Tony Dunbar said, I mean she she locks herself in her room, she puts on a do not disturb sign on her door, and she's just and, and she's been writing like crazy. I mean the, the amount of research that this that, that Maria has been doing is just absolutely unbelievable. I mean the the mud light is money transmitting. They're never going to get that one. There, there's no way. I mean, but that's that's you know that's a five year sentence. Uh, the money laundering is a ten-year sentence. Uh, so, but she's got all these uh, outrageous uh, uh, government, uh, outrageous government action uh, motions on them. Uh, they're not quite as strong as the ones for the for the the, the, the unlicensed money transmitting. But it's they're still. I mean, they're good. They're good arguments. And this is. I mean, my discovery is four thousand pages, and she's got. I don't know how many pages were there, how many, I mean, there's like five or six different motions she's bought ready. They're going to have to go and, and, you know, she's going to be able to cross-examine all these guys on all this stuff. I mean, it's going to be a, a long trial, I believe. I mean, judging on it by, by all this information that I've been seeing so far. Hello. Hey, uh, Morpheus. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the sound is. Yeah. Like underwater. What do, What do you need, man? You, do you need some more books? You get in newspapers? I need. I need people stuff? to write me a letter. People to write you a letter. Yeah, letters. Anybody? Anybody? That would be nice. Give, anybody tell you they give a crap about you yet? Well, I was in the other pot. That's pot I was in. They moved me from one pod to another because they gave me a job working on the main library here. Uh, but. The uh, the guys who are in the you know who I who I talked about the, the case to they're all like you're gonna win. I mean like I've been talking about it to people in here as much as I can. Unfortunately, about eighty percent of them are Spanish, and there's like communication challenge. But the ones that 
have, you know, I've talked to, I've had a lot of people who have been like, man, I, I had one guy when he, he's get, he was getting released, he goes, I'm going to go sell Bitcoins in Mexico when I get out of here. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a little, it's a slow process, you know, because, and of course you can't really demonstrate how the product works because you can't, you can't demonstrate it, but I can talk about it. And then I've gotten some books and I've been passing those around to people, uh, like today I got, uh, for another friend of mine sent me, uh, the Bitcoin digital, di- digital, uh, money, uh, digital gold. And, uh, so I'm going to be passing that around. I got two more Bitcoin books. So I'll read those and pass them around to people who, you know, seem like they're, you know, can grasp it. You know, I've had, I've had a lot of people I've encountered that are, you know, talking about it, but you know, you're talking about it people who are locked up, but you know. That's, uh, you know, you gotta, you, I'm, I'm still continuing to move the ball forward, even where I'm at. Because eventually they'll get out. Or they'll use Bitcoin in jail. <laughs> yeah, that's a little tough. That, 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 that'll be a little hard to do. Everybody's going to have to do it by hand, learning mathematics. <laughs> yeah, that's good luck. I don't know how that would work. But yeah, so I'm just, you know, I'll just keep on, keep on moving on. I mean, I'm working out, I'm doing meditation, I'm doing yoga, I'm just, uh, reading like a crazy man, uh, just, uh, you know, I'm building my, you know, I'm doing what I can to learn a little as much Spanish as I can, uh, you know, just improve myself to whatever level I can. But you know, it's just, it, as far as, there's a there's a good movie and I just saw it last yesterday. It was called Snitch. It's got the Rock in it. Well, there's a pre there's a part. There, I don't know if they in the movie in the in the CD they had a preview and they talked about the statistics of the drug war and they said that in the statistics of the drug war are that the that the, the average sentence for drugs is longer than rape, murder, or or manslaughter, and then uh, something else. But I, don't know if, I bet you if you go on the on YouTube and go preview to snitch, it'll show this this little clip and it talks about all the statistics of the drug war, about how many people they've incarcerated, and you know how we got four percent of the people in the world, and we got twenty five percent of the people in the world in, in prison. It's a really good clip, and I highly recommend people watching that and putting on your you know your blogs or whatever, and you know talking about it because. This is what's happening. They're, 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 they're using this drug war. I mean, basically, the reason why they went after me is because they thought it's, it's all because of the drug war. That's the reason that they went after me. And because they expect, they, they thought, oh, well, if people are doing, using Bitcoin to buy drugs on the, on, on the dark web, so guess what? We need to go after the people that are giving them, you know, selling them the Bitcoins. I mean, this is, this is, this is how these people think. That's, that's their, their, their avenue of, of, of attack. It's like, oh, this is illegal, so we got to go after. We can't get those people, so let's go after the people that are supplying them with the funds to be able to buy the, buy the, you know, buy whatever it is that we think is illegal or we don't want you to have. Well, and then, and then that's why they, they're just, it's an attack. This is what, this is what they're doing. They're, they're basically, they're attacking their own population. Yeah, no, that, that's what, that's what this shows up. I mean, that, I mean, that's why I'm going after my own DA here in New York. So. Yeah, it's, and it's all out of it's, it's all out of pure laziness because they're too lazy to go tackle the real problems we've got. Exactly, well, sure. they're too lazy. Right, and then as long well, as we get arrested, as long as we're getting arrested, we're doing something. It's like you know, you go if, if you go to the hospital, you have a twenty four percent chance, uh, twenty four times more likely to have a cesarean section if you have a baby at home. Well, why is that? Because if there's any problem, what do they do? They want to have a cesarean section because, well, at least if, you, if something happens, well, at least we did everything we could just to prevent the problem. Instead of, oh, what can we do to have this baby naturally? Well, we want to just start, you know, slicing women open and, and popping the babies out, which is not, you know, how nature intends the process to be. You know, and and well, what they're doing they do is they, they do cesarean worse, so they have it on the calendar now. So the doctor is known that at this day I will have six babies, so I will earn this much. And right, exactly. we know that on this day, and the woman is like, oh, but so I can go back to work on the, on the next week. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, no, what they're right. doing, they're, they're using the drug war as a way 
day, it's like, oh, well, you, you guys, we're, we're going to give you freedom, but we're going to destroy all your freedoms by saying, oh, drugs are illegal. We can do anything we want to in order to stop the, you know, the, the, the drugs. Hey, uh, Morpheus, this is Tesla. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey. How's it going? How's it going? Hey, I was reading in Good. your document, and um, I, I don't think it's about drugs because uh, it, it looks like it actually this whole thing started with the IRS. The IRS are the first ones who started poking around and looking at uh, local Bitcoin. Yeah. And they're the ones who called the yeah. DEA. So yeah. I think reality is really about uh, collecting, you know, taxes. And the drug war yeah, is just uh, like a root. Yeah, I mean, I think I saw that too, yeah. I saw that too. The thing too. that's interesting was that the IRS agent was trying to say he was in, involved in some kind of drug thing, and like to me that doesn't seem like something an IRS, that's not... Like, if, if they're going to be doing something like that, that should be a DEA agent, not an IRS agent. Like, just not right. Yeah, well, they don't care. Well, they'll just do whatever they want. Work. Remember, Al Capone was because of an IRS issue. I mean, you know, they will use... The thing is, they sent it... What I don't have... We only have a snippet of information. What we need is to look at the whole tape and listen how he went down and why did... The question is, why did the IRS guy went first? What was in his mind? I think, I think probably what alerted them, I mean, I'm guessing what, what my, my guess is that on my profile it says I do from 200 to 30,000. I think that's why they went after me. That's why they, they decided to go after me. Yeah, no, they say they're going they after, the number But one. they're going after a lot of other people. You know, they're going after everybody. I mean, you know, you got the guy in Michigan, you got the guy in, uh, was it California, in Los Angeles, and then there's another guy that, that uh, Theo sent me a, a write up on him. I forget the guy's name. I guess it was I think it was, I thought, well, maybe it was the guy in Michigan, but then it was Salt and Pepper, but I think it was another guy also, too. The one you just sent me is his information. Salt to. and Pepper. Yeah, the, the one I sent you was Salt and Pepper. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're just going yeah, but, after people, and they're, you know, they want to they make, you know, make people afraid of doing business. You know, the only way to do business is you got to do it because it through our channels and our system and our blah, 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 blah. Well, we don't want to participate in your system. At least I don't. The, the, the question I have, Tesla, is because, yes, I see that where it says summary of uh, March 2016. She doesn't say why the IRS began to investigate a Bitcoin trader in the Phoenix area. Mm -hmm. That's what they, he doesn't say. Right. And I think they just started like looking at. They, I think they mentioned that they, you know it all started with localbitcoins.com. I think that's where they're looking for people, and it was you know the IRS that were first looking at it, saying, "Hey, these people, you know, they probably aren't paying taxes, so we got to go after them." But they can't just go after them for taxes. Like they, no, they got they have to make up the whole drug dealer thing, and that's why right. they made the whole thing up. It's all just fabricated because it's much easier to get someone on that, the drug war, than it is on, on tax, tax evasion or whatever just because you're selling Bitcoin. That's my theory, I think. I think that's what's going on. But I just thought it was really weird and interesting that the, you know, it, it was initiated by the IRS. Yeah, but it's basically an attack. It's an attack by the government against the people, against its own population. That's what it is. This is an attack. This is their, yeah. their waging war. Is basically, you know, that's what they need to say, is that we, the government is waging war against its own population. That's what it's doing. What's that now? Something that's interesting, there, there's a lot of um, ICOs that are happening now. They're very, very interesting ICOs. And yeah. they're specifically telling you that if you're a United States citizen, don't participate in our ICO. And I look at that and I'm like, this is the so-called land of the free and all of this stuff. Right. But, you know. Oh. That they won't even let you participate because of the regulatory wow. like because you know what the, the thing is is that capital is flowing out of the United States and into these international instruments so fast that it's making people's heads spin and um, right. there's a reason for that it's because this is a sinking ship what's happening here is a sinking ship the system is sinking the, the money is sinking 
It's all sinking. Great. And some yeah. people want to get out. Yeah. So that's hey, Mark, yeah. Uh, were, uh, were you doing any uh, mining out of your place? Um, I guess, well, I, guess I did like be. a very tiny, 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 tiny bit. I, I did it for about a month. I, 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 had a, I had a rig and it was mining, but it, it interfered with my Empower machine, and it wouldn't let the Empower machine communicate with SRP. And so one day I was, I was putting money on the card, you know, to, to fill it up, but it wasn't ex taking the money on the card. It was like there was like a communication error, and that happened okay. after I put, plugged the miner in. And I think I got a few disbursements before it the the, the, the Empower just finally said, oh, sorry, you're out of out of money on your on your electricity. And then I had to call SRP, and they had to come by and replace the box and replace, you know, do some work. And it just it just I, I had to I plugged it in again after they put the new box in, but it still didn't. It still gave the same error, so I just you know stopped doing it. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you at, a, at, a, at another time of why I'm asking that, and I'm going to talk to these guys about why I'm asking that uh, a little later. Okay. Yeah, I did buy right. a little bit. It was like very tiny amount, but it's still good. It, yeah. Okay. So how's everybody doing? I am quitting my job. I just, I'm going to, I made a lunch nice. day with my boss. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be quitting probably, well, I'm putting him in a notice in the next few days. That's awesome, man. Remaining. That's so fantastic. Yeah. Hey, does anybody want to just point their song with me? You got one minute. The, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He sure. makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters, he restores my soul. He leads me on the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table for me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 It was really good to hear your voice, Marcus. Amen. Hey, good to hear you too, bud. So drop me a line. Wait. Yeah. Hey, Morpheus, this is Davi. I've just been listening. I didn't get an edge in to say hi, but hi. Hey, man, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> I'm pretty good. Huh? We're going to win. We're going to win. We are going to win. We are going to win. I'm going to win. Right. This is, this is, this, this is, this is, it's. He just dropped. Are you ready? You want me to um, stop recording now? Um, just edit. Just edit this out if you push it. I'm ready to stop. I'm stopping recording. Um, I'm ceasing recording now. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So. Go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.